Come one, come all to the most phenomenal, most extraordinary, most unimaginable puppet show you've ever experienced. Kutaro had obtained Calibrus, a legendary pair of magic scissors. But before he could start cutting along the dotted line of destiny, he would have to escape the wrath of the tyrannical Moon Bear King. Let us continue our adventure. You, you pussy-footing wussy cat, where were you? I ought to fudge! Brownies, it can't be! Did you forget you sent us off in the first place? Yes, Calibrus chose him. Finally! Those legendary shears will cut right through the Moon Bear King's lackeys and set the Moon Realm free! Now, my brave young warrior, why don't you let Granny hold on to those for you? Right now, you wooden dolt! <laughs> what was that for? Don't you tell me I'm not your type! Gotcha! To command Calibrus, you need either a heart as pure as the goddesses, or pernicious magic like the Grizz. But all you've got is an attitude. Oh, oh nuts! Uh, you keep Calibrus, and you'll take good care of it for me. I smell him. That's the punch and stink of a scissor thief. Oh, General Tiger, sir. How kind of you to drop back to check on beastly old me. Gosh, <laughs> oh, I just don't know anything about a scissor thief, but if I see him, you'll be the first and last to know. And this egregiously foul odor must be witch stink. You are certain he's not here? Oh, yes, very certain, your antagonist. I beg you, bring that scoundrel to justice, or I may not sleep a week tonight. Ah, don't worry. My grubs will have this whole castle locked down in no time. After all, we can't have anyone crashing the prison towers and making off with the knight's powers. Now can we? Did you hear that, dear? Then get your hidey in gear! The tiger's tongue had slipped. Whatever powers this knight had, they were clearly important. walls didn't come with stairs. Clinging to the slippery stones instead were giant living vines imbued with dark magic. Snipping, cutting, slicing through the vines with Calibrus, Kuturo scrambled up and up. Onward he must climb. As you may have noticed, there was a reason the Moon Witch framed Kutaro for stealing the scissors. The moment she marched him off to the throne room, she had already concocted a plan to take Calibrus for herself. Despite himself, Kutaro was growing excited. What kind of awesome power could this knight in the towers have anyway?
Not even the vile vines could still Kutaro's scissors. For stairs, just cut along the seam. Even the steepest tower walls could stop Kutaro. his way through flags, vines, anything he could sink those scissors into. He took it sitting down when the Moon Bear King rose to power. Many tried to oust the tower and bring back the goddess. One or two of them even survived. But the goddess's mightiest champions all fell, and their powers were locked away in secret well-guarded places. Now, where do you suppose the knight's powers are hiding? Power top security was tight. The weaver patrolled the smoke-ridden sky, swooping and slicing at anything that moves. These towers not only defended the castle walls when the Moon Bear King rebelled against the goddess, but during the ferocious final fight, they also went on the attack.
Souls free. Scratched up shield appeared before Kutaro. Could this be the power he sought? <laughs> 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 